we warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some very cold conditions out there. Some really cool cloud formations beginning to flow into the central basin right now. Not quite getting picked up here for the most part on our sky tracker, but if you look closely behind some of these buildings, you can actually see a reflection of some of the flares out in the distance on those really interesting clouds. Now, they're mid to high level clouds, not quite in the mid levels, not quite high enough to be in the high levels, but certainly not bringing us any rain anytime soon. Again, just a really cool feature to check out. If you do get a minute, to go look outside. I recommend it. It looks really, really neat out there. The moon is almost full, but make sure you bring a, ja a jacket or a coat with you because it's getting cold outside. Thanks to our Sky Tracker Network here in Odessa Midland, we've got a really good look outside at those conditions. And as we switch over here to our satellite and radar, you can see very, very clear skies across most of West Texas after some clouds left our area. Started bubbling up a little bit as we head into the afternoon. Here we go. Here's a look at some of those interesting looking clouds on our satellite and radar. Really, again, very, very cool cool to see. But we do have some cold temperatures out there. National Weather Service has already issued a freeze warning for both Ector and Midland counties. Uh, that's extending until 9 a.m. Central Time tomorrow morning when temperatures will finally warm up above freezing. Any plants or pets you normally keep outdoors may be a good idea to pull them on inside as well. Any exposed piping you have outdoor for your home, you might want to wrap up any of those pipes or just drip a faucet to prevent those pipes from bursting. As well, off to our east, you can see a large area covered up by a freeze warning as well. So if you're traveling to Abilene or San Angelo for a job site tomorrow morning, especially if you have an early start, maybe even just getting an early start to some travel plans, be on the lookout for ice on bridges, roadways, over passes generally detached from the ground. Now it has been very dry the past couple of days. We haven't seen much rain, so I don't expect there to be a lot of areas with any ice buildup, but better safe than sorry. Just be on the lookout if you're driving around before say about 9 a.m. Now out to the west, you can see a lot of our mountains here, Jeff Davis, Culberson County, and even Presidio County included in this hard freeze warning expiring also at 9 a.m. Central Time. So be careful out there. This is definitely a location in the higher elevations that you want to definitely wrap any exposed piping and definitely pull in any plants and pets you normally keep outside because temperatures are going to be very, very cold at the higher elevations. Odessa Midland, again, below freezing with temperatures dropping down into the low 30. So very, very cold conditions out there. You can see 41 currently for Odessa Midland, but we've got a long way to go before we back off down to our lows. Now, I do expect this model to be running a little warm, so 20s across the northern basin could actually drop down into the teens for tomorrow morning. After that, though, thankfully, a lot of sunshine coming through to help us warm up. Very mild afternoon high temperatures both tomorrow and Saturday. 65 degrees right around average for this time of year. Tomorrow, Saturday, warm up to the high side, 79 degrees. Eh, this weather here can't make up its mind. I'm not really complaining too much because it's leading us to a great weekend. We also pick up some rain chances on Thursday of next week. Small 20%, but we'll hold out hope. Maybe we can make good on those chances. Yeah, it's like that Katy Perry song, Chase. You're hot and you're cold. You're yes and you're no. What is it doing I know. Here? You can't make up your mind. Alright, <laughs> well we'll just uh, brace for it, I guess. That's about all you can do. Yeah, stay warm out there and bundle up in the morning. Alright, thanks Chase. Thanks.